Hey everybody, it's Renee here and we are making a cool art journal project using Chow Bella's rice paper and uh, we're going to put that on there. We're also using some Dina Wakely. We are using some 49 and Market Curator washi tape. We're using some fresco finish paints, some more Dina Wakely gel plates and we're going to have an awesome time, so you want to watch this video. So I've already gessoed my page and I've put masking tape or binding tape, I use binding tape, along the middle so it can, you know, holds onto my seam so things don't seep through. You don't want to have your paints and things seep through there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 49 and mark it tape on our page and this is going to come through through our paint and it's going to look so pretty. I also did this in my last art journal page which I'm going to link to the top right so you can have a look and see another one very similar that I did the same technique too. So you want to check that out. So we're going to plop that down there. And while I'm doing this, you're going to want to go and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And hit that bell notification. You want to hit the all button so you get all my videos as they come available so you don't miss out on some of the crafty goodness that we're going to be making. And again, if you like my videos, please make sure you like them because it helps me out and I'm very appreciative. So we're going to put that in there and I'm going to add just a little bit, I think, down in here. This is amazing, amazing tape. So you want to check that out. 49 Market always has amazing products. So I just love them. So put some of that down in here. Just love this. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to put some of my paints on and I'm using an assortment of different Paper Artsy paints and uh, I will show you some of what I might be using. So I'm using the Paper Artsy Fresco Finish. I have Blue Lagoon, South Pacific, Aquamarine, Summer Sky, Yellow Submarine, iceberg and chalk and you can see from these the opacity of it so this one there's quite a bit so it's kind of neat just how these work and I absolutely love them and also I will be using snowflake and inky pool because that's just how I roll and they're my favorite colors so let's get going on this I am using my gel plate and it's still got stuff on it from previous I am just going to leave that because I'm just using this to roll my paint on so my very first color I'm going to use Looking at the opacity on some of these, I'm going to use the Summer Sky. Give it a good shake. And we are going to have some fun with these. I love doing art journals. It's just so much fun. The creations you can make. It's always a good time. And there's anything you can do like it's there's no rules it's just fun love using my gel plate stuff all right with this one this is the blue lagoon I'm going to go down the binding with this and I'm going to go along the taped edges so I'm going to give that a good shake a brush give that a good bit of paint there and just go down the middle and this will be blended 
like to sometimes use my finger and I know there's a lot of people that don't like to get dirty dirty but I like to blend sometimes just with my finger which I find is kind of helpful as well and I'm gonna go around some of the edges on here love these colors. Paper RC makes such amazing colors of their paints. Just love them. This needs to kind of get into those little crevices where the paint ends and sometimes you can't get in with a brush or the brayer. So let's get right in there now so it's all covered up. There we go. Voila. All right, so now I am going to use, I think a little bit of the aquamarine. So we're gonna get that a good shake there. And I'm gonna blend this a little bit with our last color. Okay, so now we're gonna bray that on. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that for now. I'm going to add some of this Dina Wakely tissue and I am going to wet it a little bit and pull. And I'm going to tack it down I'm going to tack it down a little bit off the edges because I'm going to eventually cut the edge off. So we will do that and I'm just going to use a glue stick. Okay, so I've got my glue stick. I'm gonna tack that down here. Make sure you line it up properly. And I'm going to have a little bit of a lip to mine because I'm going to put some outside color on it. Okay, so leave that like that. And I am going to put a little bit down in this area. Because basically what we're going to do is we're going to have this in here. I'm going to cut this apart a little bit and then this bird is going to be up in here. So those are the areas we don't really need to cover but I'm going to be moving some of this around. So I'm going to do this right now. I did pull this apart using water but right now I'm just going to cut some of the words out. Um, actually, can I do the following? Yeah, the falling in love, I'm gonna cut out, but I am gonna put it over top of the heart still, so you shouldn't be able to see that we did cut it out. So we're gonna cut that off, and then here, I'm going to cut this, but we're going to add it to the other side. Okay, so there's that, and that. Now I am going to add um, a little bit of the South Pacific. This is a darker color. And 
And with this one, I will probably rub a little bit with my finger. In some areas, sometimes I go over and probably don't really need to because it is going to be covered, but just on the off chance it's not. I do sometimes put some color in there, in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna just move that around a little bit. And again, finger art. But you didn't think you'd be finger painting at this stage in your life, eh? I just find it really gets in there and you can really maneuver and move the paint around. Sometimes it looks stunning. So we're gonna do that. Get some of that movement in there. Just the colors are so pretty. I just find these kind of colors just so happy, if anything. Especially this time of the year when we're just coming out of winter. We want some happy colors. I'm tired of all the sad winter colors. In such a long winter here. So that turned out not bad. Get some colors in there and again we're getting into where our tape edges are love it love it love it working that work it work it get it in there okay I like to freehand art and draw and paint too, but I don't always show that in my videos because not everybody can draw. So I'm trying to find stuff to put on here and on my channel that everybody could do. And uh, if you want, I can do some videos with actual handmade usually I'm a people drawer I like doing people but um, I could definitely do that but I don't know how many people want that um, because like I said not everybody knows how to draw people and I'm not going to do a class on how to draw people so I'm going to add a little bit of white in here just to cut out some of the color it sounds counterproductive doesn't it but it does work just to lighten up some certain areas. What I really wanted to do on some of these too is, um, I kind of covered them, I cored them actually, um, but some stencils, like I absolutely love stencils. Stencils are um, and not just stencils, like even rub-ons, like put rub-ons on here, um, and add a whole bunch of color and, and awesomeness that way as well. So we did that one. We are going to, I'm just going to put this back on here just to get a rough idea. Oh, we're covering that one. Okay. That's okay. Um, and then this little birdie goes there. So I am going to put, that is going to come here. I'm going to put some words up and in here, uh, but you know what I'm going to do actually? <laughs> I have some other things we can do for words. So I am going to put this in here, we have soul and heart. I'm going to cut this out and put this in. So I'm going to do that right away. And normally, yes, yes I know, I normally use water but I'm not going to this time, just because these are so close together that, uh, and who are we kidding? I'm kind of a little bit impatient, so I'm just going to do it this way. Yep, yep, yep. So you have soul and heart. Yes, I love these, they're just so pretty. So we're gonna do that. And while I'm going to do that, or before I should say I'm going to do that, I am going to tack down our little birdies. 
So again, we're getting out the glue stick. And a lot of the times I will use my gel medium, but I'm not. I'm just showing you how to use a glue stick this time because most people should have a glue stick kicking around, I would think. Especially if you have kids, you definitely probably have glue sticks kicking around. For years I had them after my kids were done school. We had so many glue sticks around here. Okay. There we go. So there's that one. Oh, so pretty. And we're going to tack this one down now. They make such beautiful, beautiful rice papers, don't they? I'm going to be making some videos coming up soon using more napkins. I haven't made one for a while, so we will be doing some with some napkins. And currently I will be selling a bunch of extra napkins I have. So you might want to check out, if you're on my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, I should say, um, which the links are down below. I have a group called Scrapbooking, Renee's Scrapbooking and Craftiness um, Garage Sale. So you might want to check that out, um, especially if you're local, because I don't ship from that. I do ship from my Etsy, but if, if you really want me to ship, I will. But um, I will have some napkins on there very soon. Um, and if I run out, I will have more coming soon because I tend to get lots. So there's that. So neat. All right. So, okay. We're going to put this one here. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. I'm going to glue that and tack that buddy down. See, for anybody who isn't great at drawing or doesn't like to draw, rice paper is your friend. So are napkins, but I really like rice paper. Rice paper is a lot of fun. And the images that you can buy now are so amazing. Yeah. Lots that are online, lots that are uh, just available to be available to you everywhere. I will put a link down below to the store I work at where you can get some rice paper. There's a great assortment of it. And she ships all over North America. So you might want to check that out. Okay, so nice. And again, for anybody that notices that my background is purple on these, I know. That is one thing I like about this glue stick. It dries clear, but I can see that it's been stuck down because it is currently purple. But it won't stay that way. So you will find, if you watched my video previous, or I guess prior to this one, these two layouts are done in a very similar way. I just wanted to give you an idea of it's very easy, very fast, because I'm not when I edit this, I'm going to cut out much and I'm not moving forward in this one very fast. Uh, I'm not speeding it up. So you'll see this was exactly how long it took me to make this. And I am a fast crafter. Anybody who crafts with me is pretty aware of that. But um, you don't have to be. To uh, get this done fast. So now I'm doing the inky pool, which, again, favorite color. This is the same technique I did before on my last creation, but I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm not edging the entire edges like as much as I did before. I'm just giving a little bit of color. I like, for anybody who's seen my scrapbook pages, um, my uh, 
creations for the most part, period. I always put a line on them. It's kind of what, I guess, signifies mine from others if you see my stuff. Is uh, I like to put lines on the edges of mine to just finish it off. Or sew the edges, or put dots, or put something. Um, just to show it's the edge of the page. Um, just, yeah. It, it, it's just, to me, it's a finishing touch. And I really like the look of that. So you will see that on a lot of my creations, regardless of what it is I made, whether it's traveler's notebooks or my art journals or scrapbook pages, uh, whatever it might be. The only thing you might not see me do that in is my junk journals. So that is probably the only thing. This is coming together nicely. Like the colors in here, I will be putting some white specks again or Thoughts if you want. I am going to blend this in a little bit after the fact just with some media mixed or some multi da, da, da. <laughs> some gel media. So uh gel matte medium. So uh, it's late at night and I'm losing my train of thought. So anyways, I am going to dot this up. I am going to put a little bit of more blue in certain areas. I am going to put our falling in love back on here that we cut off prior. We're gonna go around some of these just so it doesn't stick out so much. And again, if you're liking my videos, please don't forget to like my videos hit the bell notification and subscribe to this channel. It's greatly appreciated. Lots of love to give to everybody out there that creates and shares their videos on YouTube. Love this art journaling and crafting community. It's awesome. after okay so there's that and now the falling in love I am going to move that over more so that's why I cut that out just because it would have went right into the seam of our page all right so we're gonna tack that buddy down all righty And it's got the frayed edges, which is kind of neat. And I'm going to just give a little bit of white in here in some areas. I think the one thing to know when you're doing your art journals, because I mean, you can get carried away, and I know I have, um, is just when to stop. When enough is enough. And I mean, you definitely don't want to get to making a brown mess. But, uh, But yeah, I will go around this bird with my Stabilo pin. But I think that is pretty much it for that. I am going to give it some flex of paint uh, using our Distress Spray. It's just the Picket Fence Spray. So we're going to pop that off, give it some specs. And that's it. We're going to let that dry and then we're going to come back and just put a little bit of outline with our Stabilo All pen. So I have our Stabilo All and I dipped in a little bit of water just to loosen it up. And now I'm just going to go around our bird and kind of shadow it. I did pull out a yellow to 
pull out the yellow from this bird uh, around the outside edges, but I haven't used it yet, so we will be doing that. You don't want to be careful because that one bled, but you can always fix it with paint. So there's that. Okay, and then with this one, same thing. I'm just going to kind of outline it a little bit and give it some depth and dimension. Now, I'm just going to go into this little birdie's feathers. Sorry, i got to hurry and do this because the sun is going down and it's getting harder to see. So with this, I'm just going to put this on my mat and I'm going to grab just a little bit of the yellow and put it in a couple places on this page. Okay. To bring a little bit of that yellow out over here. I just want it faint, but just so it pulls the yellow. And I think that's probably it. Maybe add a little bit of yellow over here by this bird. And there's our creation. So I hope you like that. I find these a lot of fun to make. We're going to be doing lots more art journaling coming up in the near future, as well as creating with napkins. So stick around, make sure you join the channel, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have an awesome day.